back here on the Art Fort Lauderdale podcast, episode three, with returning Art Fort Lauderdale artist Florence Clemente Grand Prix from her studio location in the Street Fort Lauderdale building here, which we'll tell you a little bit about after this introduction here. For those of you that aren't familiar with Art Fort Lauderdale, we produce the first and only Art Fair on the Water that takes place in luxury waterfront homes off the Las Olas Intercoastal Waterways. We make the only mode of transportation via boat, so it's a different uh, way to view and interact with art. Uh, seeing art in homes in a setting where art ultimately lives um, and having a wonderful discovery journey along the famed Las Olas Intercoastal Waterways makes for a, a true Fort Lauderdale experience and something we're very uh, proud and excited to bring to the community for the third consecutive year here. So the goal of the podcast is to connect you with the talented, amazing artists like her that make the fair great. Uh, so for those of you that don't know Florencia, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, your story, and how you got to where you are today. Well, hello. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. And my name is Florencia. I was born and raised in Spain, but I've been here for the last 14 years. My mother's American, French-Italian father. And how did I get into art? Well, I started painting. I've always painted, technically always painted, that's what I say. But officially, about four years ago, I'm self-taught. And I used to work in interior design. So a lot of my materials come from there because I recycle wallpaper, fabric samples, and incorporate into my paintings. And I mainly paint women. I try to project a positive image of women and what better than to paint strong, elegant, confident women. So that's basically what I do. And for those that can see but maybe aren't 100% uh, sure about what they're looking at, why don't you tell us a little bit about actually what goes into these pieces here. So the background, and not in this one, this one's painted, but in this one for example, which is my first painting ever, her name is Ahara, they all have names is a collaged wallpaper samples. The headdress and the jacket are fabric samples, and I paint everything that's uh, hair and flesh beforehand, and then apply the other materials. I paint in acrylics and in oils. How about that? And how long would you say a piece like this takes you? On average, a month, month and a half even, depending oh, wow. on yeah how intricate it is. I, I spend... <laughs> Have you been on it? Oh, it's quick, it's quick. It's good. <laughs> um, it, takes, it takes that long because half of the time is painting and half of the time is deciding what materials to put into this. I stare, literally stare at fabric samples and wallpaper samples for about a week until I start choosing the different ones because there's so many of them and I know more or less what colors I want to use but I have so many different samples that I have to just see them for a while and then start combining them. Because once they're on the canvas, there's no going back. So that's why it takes so long. And throughout your creative process and this creative outlet of yours, uh, so how did this uh, series style um, become to, come to fruition? And then what, what has uh, kind of transpired? How has your style evolved to where we are today? Okay, well these are two of my first, in fact my first two. Oh wow. Yes. <laughs> this one was my very first, this one's second, okay. this one's Bruna, this one's Athara. And it started because I had all these samples that I'd collected, I'd worked in interior design, so I kept bringing home the samples that they get rid of at the end of the project or changing them seasons and the books change out, so I would keep them home and eventually I had to do something with them. So. I started incorporating all those materials into my paintings. And now I've also evolved into painting directly on fabric, which also gives us a really interesting look. Um, I don't have them here, and I will have some in Art for Lauderdale uh, in January, this next one, and I did have some in the last one as well. But these are the ones where I apply the materials to the canvas rather than painting directly on the fabric. So it, it's, it's more about fabric and texture and color and, and always working with that because I think that's what makes it different and interesting to work Definitely with. Definitely different and interesting to look at. And what would you say has been your most noteworthy 
he said it more than most uh, countries. <laughs> well, that's not a role, but <laughs> I think the most noteworthy piece is the tribute that I did for Michelle Obama. I did it last year in uh, 2017. Um, I did it because they were leaving the White House, and I thought, well, that would be a nice, a nice thing to do, a tribute to someone that I admire. So I did this painting of Michelle Obama, and I happened to post it on Facebook in this January in the Michelle Obama fan club. And I thought, well, these people would be interested in seeing this, and I didn't think much of it. Of it. And so I posted it on there, and I got quite a few likes from that post at that time, but then a month later, they posted their, or they, they showed their piece that they had for the Smithsonian, the one that they, that they had uh, other yeah. artists do as their official portraits. And people went back to my post because they remembered mine and liked mine and started liking it and sharing it. And long story short, I have 78,000 likes on that post and I think 57,000 shares on it. So it's kind of... <laughs> <laughs> and um, where is that piece now? That piece is still in my house. I'm oh. guarding it because I'm offering it to her. I'm waiting to hear back from her. I sent her a nice little package with a reproduction of it to say, I have this piece. Would you like it? When the time is right. So, yeah, I'm waiting to hear back because I know she's a busy lady and sure. she's on tour and she was promoting her book and also for the elections. They were trying to get uh, people motivated to go out and vote. So she probably hasn't had a chance to look at it yet. So. In due time. Yes. In due time. Yes. <laughs> Why don't you tell us a little bit about where we are right now? Where we are? We are in the New River Inn Museum of History, also known as History Fort Lauderdale, and I am one of six artists in residence for the Historical Society of Fort Lauderdale. We have our studios upstairs on the third floor, free for everyone to come up and visit us. There's always someone here. Um, as I say, there's six of us, and we're open during museum, museum hours. So please come by, take a look. Um, we'll welcome you anytime. How about that? Mm -hmm. and what are some of the things that you've enjoyed, experienced, appreciated, noticed, been able to be a part of as a returning Fort Lauderdale, art Fort Lauderdale artist? Uh, yay, well, I think it's a great event, especially to be part of something so different and so innovative, because there's nothing like it. So I really enjoyed being part of something new, and also the fact that you get all sorts of different visitors. And the setting is wonderful. You get to go on a boat ride. A taxi takes you along the different houses. It picks you up, drops you off. Um, it's just a really great experience. And it's great exposure as well. Um, I, I actually got got some commission. Oh, great. Based, based on that, I got some, some, a commission piece that I did uh, later on from someone who I see my work there. So it's just really good. Awesome. Yes. Where else can they find you on social media? Okay, on social media I'm at Art by Florencia and Facebook as well, Art by Florencia. I keep it consistent just so that it's easier. Sure. And I have a website, that's where I have my prints. Prints only on www.artbyflorencia.com but if you want to see my artistic adventure and follow works in progress, what I'm up to, where I'm going to be, I'd say go on to my Facebook and my Instagram, Art by Florencia. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And you can find Florencia and her works at the third annual Art for Lauderdale, the Art Fair on the Water, January 24th through the 27th. Yes. Tickets and more information can be found at www.artftlauderdale.com. That's www.artftlauderdale.com. Uh, you can also find Florencia here at the New River Inn, otherwise known as History Fort Lauderdale. They would definitely welcome you here. They got a beautiful uh, similar art exhibition running through the end of January, right at the end of Fort Lauderdale Art and Design Week, which is the newest edition that we've created out of the evolution of our Fort Lauderdale uh, to create a week full of 
discovery, satellite, uh, satellite exhibits and satellite events, artist talks, panel discussions, after parties, pop-up dinners. So many things. Yeah, art walks, <laughs> everything. The last yeah. two days in Hamilton happened to be that week. So, oh, yeah, how about that? I'm going on Wednesday with my mom. Oh, nice. <laughs> so, um, you can find that at Fort Lauderdale Art and Design Week. Uh, otherwise known as F-T-L-A-D-W for short. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me, Evan Snow. I'm an open book at evansnow13 on Instagram or Facebook, or you can find my email on the website. Uh, we'd be glad to answer any questions you have, have you join us, and have you support some of our most talented local artists like Florencia. And we definitely appreciate you guys tuning in today. On the and I do commission project. work too, so yeah. if you have anything in mind, anything you'd like done, this is one of my styles, the other one I talked about was on the fabric, but anything, it could even be small portraits, whatever. And she, can make your, she can make your wife look beautiful like this too. Oh, but they wouldn't have married them if they weren't beautiful already, come on, Evan. Good stuff.